Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you guys have had a great weekend so far. I know it is almost over. We The weekend is uh, about done. Monday is creeping down our necks, but you know, that's life. Uh, we only get a short time of free time and a lifetime of work. So that being said, I just wanted to get another video out here real quick this weekend. I know, strange occurrence for me, but hey, stranger things have happened, right? Um, today, I wanted to talk about something. Um, I've had a couple people on my channel um, talk about the XBPS package management system on Void. And while I love it, I love the way it works, I love its functionality, I love how it's broke, the commands are broken up into their own binaries. Um, I just, I think it's super fast. I think it's just a great package manager. Um, I know a lot of people are a little hesitant to use it. Um, so there's a couple things I want to talk about today. Um, while XBPS is by far my favorite package management system um, that I've used, um, I like it better than Pac-Man, um, I like it better than Apt. Um, it's just a great system. Um, I know a lot of people are confused by it or don't find it very intuitive. Um, so I just wanted to touch on a couple things. One of those is if we launch a terminal here, let's clear the screen and let's zoom in. I am going to run a command here and we are going to talk about it a little bit. So I'm gonna run this command, it's called VPM and we're gonna hit enter. And VPM is a void package management utility for XBPS. What is this you say? Let's go to a different workspace here. Let's launch our browser and we are gonna do VPM GitHub and it's gonna take us to this gentleman, um, Net for wire wire I don't know, I'm sorry, I really butchered that, but um, we're gonna to go to this repo right here. <clears throat> And what it is, is it is an XBPS package management helper for Void Linux. Now, I'm on the fence about this because basically if we open up VPM right here, you can see there's not much to the repository. We got a PNG, which kind of shows everything. We got the readme, the license, and some screenshots. And then we have VPM. If we open up VPM here, we can see this is just a bash script. That's all this is, and it's just kind of a helper that this gentleman created to um, make using XBPS um, a little more user friendly, I guess. Um, Basically, he says uh, VPM is a simple to use daily driver enhancement to the awesome XBPS X binary package system, which I agree with him 100%. It is awesome. Um, it's initially designed as a helper tool for use with Void Linux. Um, feel free to think Void Package Management, he says, or something if it helps you remember its name, but please do not take this as a package manager. Um, in the nitpicker's understanding of the word, especially VPM shouldn't be confused with XBPS. This is not a whole new package management system. This is just a script that runs that helps you and makes things, um, I guess, a little more intuitive. Um, it's an add-on helper um, to make your life easier. That's it. So his motivation is he found XBPS to have a steep learning curve. Um, I kind of disagree, um, kind of agree. Um, but um, <clears throat> he says it has steep learning curve, so we wanted to ease the life of the new Void Linux users, which, let's be honest, there's not a whole lot of us out there. Um, I don't consider myself a new Void user anymore, but um, it's definitely not growing in leaps and bounds like I'd like it to. But um, XBPS users in general, please don't feel afraid to look up the corresponding XBPS commands it translates to or use VPM dash dash show translations so you can even see the translations already uh, when using VPM help. It has been said that VPM will ease the transition from Debian's apt and some of the other user-friendly repository package managers. Um, you can have color on it, this uh, ZOMG ponies and 11 rainbows and unicorns, indeed. If, if, if you like colorized output, please see the dash dash color equals true option. Um, you have installation right here, which basically you need git, so you have to use XBPS install and use install git. And then you can clone into this repository, git clone this repository, and then you need to put the script that's in here somewhere in your path. So that way you can run it from the terminal. But basically, let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So it's in here and we got a couple options here. We have color, we have helper, we have helper page, show translations, and verbose. Obviously verbose is a verbose mode. It shows XBP, XBPS command translations during execution. We have show XBPS command translations for VPM subcommands. Uh, same as help, help gear, or help pager, excuse me. Uh, same as help. So basically those are just the help commands. And this is to enable and disable colorized output. Now, right here, his subcommands are basically sync, update, list repos, repo list, add repo, info, file list, dependencies, reverse, search, all these different options you can have, these subcommands to use with a VPM. And basically, what you need to do to run VPM is instead of typing xbps install or xbps query or xbps 
dash rebuild or, or reconfigure, excuse me, XBPS, whatever, you type in VPM and then you just tell it to do what you want it to do. You can either write out install or you can just type I. You can write out update or you can just type UP, sync or SY. Um, there's no need to use a dash dash. He's also covered that in his uh, uh, GitHub page. I highly suggest you check out the readme. Um, so basically what this does is this eliminates the need to understand whether you need to use XBPS install, XBPS remove, XBPS query, whatever it is, it takes that away and just makes it so you have to remember VPM and then what you want to do, install, um, clean up, auto remove, whatever. Now. This is all well and good if this is what you need. And this is a great program because it works great. I've tried it. Let's uh, so you would do, let's see, uh, VPM and we do I. And let's say we wanted to install um, PC Man FM. And we hit enter. And you can see it goes through this and it will walk through everything just like anything else, just like typing sudo xbps install PC Man FM. You can see it goes through and it finds everything and gives you a little bit of colored output. No, I don't want to install it, uh, install that. But and then at the end, it gives you the um, command it was running: xbps install dash s pc man fm, and then it gives you a return code um, one or zero. Um, so it's all well and good. It's a great tool. Um, I really um, got to give this guy credit for what he did with this. Um, but I will I will say one thing. Um, me personally, when it comes to the package management system, there's um, aliases and stuff like that are all well and good. I use some of them. I think they're a great tool to have in your system. The only thing I don't usually mess around with aliases or any other types of scripts like that for um, is main package management stuff. Now, obviously, like in uh, Arch Linux and you have the AUR, you have the AUR helpers like Yay and stuff like that. I don't have any issues using those. Um, and like on void, the uh, void source packages, I skip over going and doing the build manually. Um, and I actually have my um, VSP script that I run to install void source packages. So I'm not 100% against it on all fronts. But when it comes to main package management, I really highly suggest, in my opinion, actually learning the main commands and the actual commands for that package management system. Because if you ever get onto a machine that doesn't have the tool you're using or the alias you're using or whatever, you're gonna be kind of up a creek without a paddle. Um, that being said, if you're all good with that, then by all means, this is a great tool. I'd highly recommend using it. Um, let's go ahead and actually take a look at it. So we're gonna CD into programs and let's clear the screen and we're gonna do an LS and let's CD into uh, VPM. And we're gonna do an ls in there and you can see we've got all the stuff that was on the repo we have the bash completion the picture the license the readme the screenshots and the vpm so let's go ahead and vim into vpm and this is a rather long script it's about 600 lines long so if we do control or shift g you can see it down at the bottom exactly 600 lines so gg back up to the top a lot of this though is basically the help page the, the help page stuff um, the colorization of things, um, just kind of a lot of that going on in the first probably half of the script. Um, so a lot of this, if you weren't if you weren't so big on having a banner and all that stuff, a lot of the stuff could be taken out, and you would be left with um, the, the the most necessary stuff. Which I'm not knocking the guy for doing this. This is great. It's really professional looking. It looks awesome. I'm just saying, if you are somebody who doesn't want to have a whole bunch of fluff on your system, um, you could easily take this stuff out and not have to worry about it. But when we get down about halfway here, um, see these are all the echo search. So this is all the stuff that shows you if we go ahead and launch another terminal here and do, excuse me, VPM. Um, all this here, these sub commands right here and options, that's all this right here. This is all this is doing is printing out this first page. So when we get down to, uh, what line was it? Right about here, we are now at the case statement. Um, so let's go ahead and close this side and you can see all this is is this is going through and it's taking your argument and it is running it through uh, based on whichever flag you use. It's running it through XBPS query and it's giving the correct flags. Um, so it's, it's using the correct um, XBPS command whether it's query, um, whether it is um, install, whether it's remove XBPS alternatives. 
Um, so basically what this script does is basically takes away your need and the necessity for you to remember which XBPS command to use um, and which flags to use. Like I said, which is all well and good. It's great for those who have a hard time remembering that stuff. But again, I'm kind of a person who likes to know that stuff. So that way, if I ever am on a system that doesn't have it, I can actually function still without being kind of screwed. Um, so you can see we've got, uh, it'll, like I said, at the end of the script, when you run and install, you know, you have this message here that prints at the end and gives you your return code. Um, so basically that's all this is. This is a case statement that actually takes your flag or your choice or option, runs it through and runs the proper um, XBPS command with the correct flags. So again, it's a really cool tool. It's something... Um, I'd recommend checking out at least. Um, I, I, I have it on my system. I don't necessarily know that I'll use it now, but it is just kind of neat. Um, it's kind of a interesting way to get people more familiar, um, get maybe get more people into void. Um, I don't know, but um, if this is something that is stopping you from getting into void is figuring out XBPS, which by and far doesn't have as big of a learning curve as some people might think. Um, if, but if that is something that's hindering you, maybe take a look at this program because this could really be a game changer for you and get you into a great distro that is Void Linux. Um, so let's take a look at a couple of the other commands. So let's quit out of here. Let's clear the screen and let's do v, VPM and hit enter and let's see what some of the subcommands are. So we have um, our, color, our options for color, help, help pager, and show translation. So let's check... Um, uh, let's go with uh, what provides. Uh, oh no, let's do uh, sync. Let's do v vpm sy and hit enter. And so that's just going to go ahead and sync the repositories. Um, we can also do list repos. So I'll give it a second here and we will run the lr. So we can do lr for list repos. So let's do vpm and we can do lr or we can do list repos and hit enter and that's going to list all of our repos. Um, let's do VPM again. Um, how about um, search? We'll do VPM and let's just do S for search and let's say ZSH and hit enter. Um, so basically searching for ZSH and it's going to give you all these different options. Um, I like how it gives you bash first but um, it's going to give you, uh, that's uh, pre-exec and pre-command functions for bash just like ZSH. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so it can give you uh, a lot of different stuff and it does really come in handy. But again, I like to understand and know the command I'm running. I like to know the flag so that way I can just get in there and take care of it. Um, let's do one more. Let's do VPM help and just see what comes up. So this just basically lists off your... Um, uh, banner page again, which just gives you all the options that you can use. Um, and it also says that um, you can do options, subcommand, and then your argument. So this is a, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty cool little program. Again, it's VPN. Let's go back to his GitHub page. Um, it is Netsver Wingerer. Um, again, I probably butchered that. I know I butchered that. Um, but VPM, you can find him at github.com forward slash this name forward slash VPM. Um, go ahead and check it out. It's really a cool tool. Um, again, not something I will probably use, but it is definitely something that is worth looking at if XBPS is something that's keeping you from checking out Void. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great uh, rest of your weekend. Uh, get some good rest tonight because tomorrow it is back to work and back to the work week, uh, slaving away for the man. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, thanks and God bless.